Hello my loves, how are you doing? So today we're doing a video that I put up a poll on my Instagram a couple of days ago with like four possible video ideas that I had because I wanted to see what your interests were. And this video I didn't think would win. I thought we'd get the least amount of votes but it won and I was like, hang on. <laughs> Hold up a second. So today we're gonna to be talking about the books that I really wanna read that no one cares about. Clap if you care. <laughs> clap, if you, clap if you care. So these are some of the books that I'm most excited for. Like I'm really excited to read these books. These are all ones that are like pretty high on my list, but I've never, like no one's ever spoken to me about them. Like <laughs> I haven't really heard anyone speak about them on YouTube and I haven't really had any comments. Like when I've spoken about them in videos, they're not the books people comment on. So we're gonna be chatting about those books today and going through them. Now, I wanna preface this video by saying I'm quite ill. <laughs> I'm being dramatic because it's like it's just a bad cold. I just have like a headache, blocked nose, sore throat. Um, I feel very weak, especially when I'm climbing the stairs at the moment and stuff like that. It's like I'm on a marathon. <laughs> I keep doing COVID tests, it's not that, but I can already feel myself like getting out of breath. So I'm gonna try and edit that out. <laughs> But this video will probably be shorter than it would have been otherwise. I'm probably going to make this quite a quick video because I do not think I'm going to be able to speak for an extended period of time. So let's just get into it. I've got eight books here that I've chosen and I'm very excited to chat about all of them. So the first one we have. <laughs> I think this was actually supposed... Oh, this, this was supposed to go in the last book haul I did, but I don't think I actually... I think I forgot to mention it. Or did I? My brain isn't 100% at the races today. I'm not sure. <laughs> but it is Harlot's Whores and Hackabouts by Kate Lister. So this is obviously like, it's quite fancy. It's quite a fancy nonfiction, you know, like almost academic looking. I said it because I was letting you know what time it was. And what time is it? What time it was was I'm a very rich bitch. But this is basically a history of sex for sale. And I actually picked this up with Tom on my birthday. We'd been around the shops and we'd already been in Waterstones once. And I was like, let's go back to Waterstones. And he was like, yeah, I'll get you a book. <laughs> when I went to my birthday and when I'm in a bookshop like that, I really like to get something I probably never would have picked up otherwise or I've never really heard about but like I like to browse and pick something in the moment do you know what I mean I think it's really fun to do that sometimes and I found this and it's basically just like an academic kind of book on the history of sex for sale going back into like ancient ancient times all throughout history it has a lot of pictures throughout the book and I just think that the history of sex work is something that really really interests me I think that breaking down the stigma around it and seeing how the attitudes surrounding it have shifted throughout history is something that really interests me I'm generally just interested in women's history I find like women's place in history and like we'll see a bit more of this actually I, I, I don't really like men I like learning about women's history because history is so masculine women so yeah my favorite kind of history to learn about is anything that concerns women and so yeah when I saw this I just thought oh yeah <laughs> I need to get this because I have a book idea that I've wanted to write for ages that is YA I think this could inform some of my research for that but also just to learn more I think it's fascinating like going back to Victorian times like I think there's so much to learn and it looks really really well done oh I shouldn't show that picture <laughs> I don't think it will actually take me that long to read because in terms of page count it's only 240 pages and there's a lot of pictures so I think although it looks really intimidating like you know this looks scary I don't think it'll actually take me that long to read then we have a fiction book that I actually just received I haven't even put this in a book haul yet but it is Until the Last of Me by Sylvain Nouvelle so where is she here the publisher very kindly sent me this as did they send me the first one a history of what comes next now this was like it's a bit of a strange book so we didn't get the best reviews and I just feel like no one's really interested in this but I really am like, like this is one of my most anticipated releases of this year. I was hoping it would be a duology so that I could finish the series, but it turns out it's going to be a trilogy, which, you know, whatever, we'll take it. Me whenever series get extended. You're right. Just need a bit of space if that's okay. We're basically following 
it's really hard to explain without spoiling anything, but like a girl and her mother and them trying to influence historical events, that like obviously it's present for them, but like trying to influence what we now see as historical events to suit their aims. It's like in World War II and then in the space race, we see them in like historical events with like real historical figures trying to influence what's happening. It's very, very interesting. I really want to finish also the Sleeping Giant series, but I feel like that's a bit more popular than this series. I feel like no one cares, but I'm really excited for it. Like no, I haven't had anyone speaking about this and this coming out because I feel like a lot of people read the first one and were like no <laughs> but I really liked it so I'm very very excited that this has come out and hopefully I'm gonna read it soon then we have another non-fiction we actually have a lot of non-fiction on this list <laughs> so then we have the adventures of Maud West lady detective so this is about a real woman called Maud West who opened a female detective agency in 1905 so a lot of my favorite periods of British history that I really love to learn about is kind of Victorians and Edwardians I really like that time in history because a lot was changing and I just think it's a very like evocative time in history especially also I like to read fiction set in that time Tom always makes fun of me because he likes modern history like he likes that's what he studied at uni he likes modern modern history and I'm like no I like the Victorians I'm an acquired taste you don't like me acquire some taste this is set obviously in Edwardian times and yeah it's kind of the true story of her life and how she like she worked a lot in like society upper society like you know figuring stuff out and I just think it's so interesting to learn about this woman who was so rare at the time you know a lady detective was pretty much unknown at the time and I would just love to learn about her life also like I said with my book idea I need to like get writing I really do I've been saying that for like years but I think this could inform it as well there's elements of this that I would like to inform that so I'm very very excited to read it then we have the disassembly of Doreen Durand by Ryan Collett so this sounds very interesting it's another one that was sent to me by the publisher I'm actually gonna be reading this soon which is very exciting but this I think has like <laughs> I think I looked on Goodreads I don't think it has how many reviews does it have like not a lot like here I am here we are Yes! No one's read this. No one's speaking about it, but I want to. So basically, Doreen Durand witnesses a horrific accident from her window. The officer wants to know what she saw. Doreen doesn't want to tell him or anyone. And she like runs away. Like this, like, I think it's like a cat and mouse game. And there's this officer trying to chase her to find out what she saw. And she's like, no, I'd rather just not. I would, I would rather like not speak about it. Can we not? Can we not? <laughs> I was just really interested in this when it was sold to me and then I've kind of like put off reading it because no one has been speaking about it but now I'm just like okay let's read it let's read it and find out it like does it deserve to be spoken about or is it like forgotten <laughs> for a reason that's very harsh but it's true <laughs> Then we have one of the oldest books on my TBR, arguably. I can't believe I haven't read this yet. I've had it for so long. But it is Haven't You Heard? Gossip, Power and How Politics Really Works by Marie Leconte. This is like, none of you will care about this. This is what I'm saying. None of you care. This is why I don't read it. All of you after I try to blame you. Look inside yourself. You must be the problem. But this is basically about British politics and kind of like all the behind the scenes journalism and politician relationships that happen in the UK. I used to want to be a political journalist. That was kind of like, I would say when I got this, that was still my career aim. It no longer is because I learned about that world. And I said, I would rather not. <laughs> But I'm still very interested in reading this. I heard a lot of good things about it. Again, it's quite short. It's like 270 pages, but very much just going into the way that politics works behind the scenes in the UK. Again, like literally none of you care. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? None of you care about that, but I'm very interested in it. But none of you care. Like what's the point in this video? None of you care. <laughs> then we have Snow White Learns Witchcraft by Theodora Goss, my queen evidently. Strange Case, The Alchemist's Daughter. Theodora Goss has lots of other like short story collections and she's contributed to a lot of short story collections and she has some of her own. This is one of her own. It's like lots of strange <laughs> short stories from my understanding. Oh yeah, eight short stories and 24 poems. And it kind of like re-centers women and is like feminist narratives of old fairy tales and stuff like that hence Snow White Learns Witchcraft but I feel like the cover puts a lot of people off like let's be honest here it is it's an experience it's an experience <laughs> what happened? so rude <laughs> so nasty and so rude she is she's it's a moment <laughs> It's like a novel, so I feel like a lot of people aren't interested in it, but I am very excited to read everything Theodora Goss has written one day. I want to read all of her short story collections, and also she has two... I'll put the pictures in, I can't remember their names. One is already out, and one is coming out soon. But there's two collections that she's contributed to, and I think Shauna Maguire's in them both. Um, and I'm very excited for both of those as well. But this one has been on my TBR now for a long time, and... 
I feel like I need to get to it ASAP. Then we have what I view as one of my favourite non-fiction series, but I've only read one of them, <laughs> and it's the Forgotten Women series. This is the writers. I also own the other two, which are the scientists and the artists. I have read the leaders. I love these. These only have like 90 reviews, some of them, on Goodreads, but it's I've sold this too many times, but I feel like no one cares. It's short biographies of lots of forgotten women throughout history with absolutely gorgeous illustrations, and I just need to get around to reading them. I put them off because I feel like, again, they're not like major books that a lot of people care about, but I really love Forgotten Women, the leaders, and I just love, like, I love forgotten women throughout history. I just absolutely love it. I think these have gorgeous illustrations as well. I just love learning about women. <laughs> I can't describe why, but I just think women's history is so interesting and has so long not been told. And so that is like the common theme throughout all of the non-fiction, apart from the political one um, on this list. And I think these, these books do a great job of being very inclusive across like race, um, gender, like there's been a few transgender women in these books, uh, country, time period, it really covers every kind of span you could want it to. And so, yeah, I really need to read the rest of this series, but I want to space them out. I don't want to read them all together like I am doing with some series. I do want to space these out throughout maybe the next year, if that's realistic. I mean, I haven't read them, <laughs> I've owned them for that long. But yes, I wish there was more of these. I think they're so interesting. I think they definitely deserve more hype because like barely anyone has read them. And then lastly, we have a book I have not spoken about in a very, very long time, but I'm still very excited to read. And that is No Surrender by Constance Maud. So this is a Persephone Books edition. There's this gorgeous bookshop. It used to be in London. It was when I went, when Went there and got this. I believe it's now in Bath, but it's this gorgeous bookshop. It was one of my favourite ones that I visited in London. I'm sad it's no longer there. That champions forgotten women's literature. So basically they republish uh, women's books from a long time ago that had gone out of print. So this was published in 1911 and it was republished in 2011 and 2017 by Persephone Books. And this one is about suffragettes, basically. It's like a suffragette fiction book of, I believe, like one suffragette in prison and like doing like hunger strikes and stuff like that and not surrendering. And I really want to read my Persephone books. I have two and I would love to, because I just, I think these are very like, gorgeous in their own way. I'd love to have a collection of them one day, but I actually have to start reading them before I can justify having a collection. <laughs> Cause otherwise that can't happen. That can't run. I have to actually read them. So I'm hoping to actually get to this this year. I owned it for a really long time now. I think I bought it at the end of 2019. So like, it's been a long time. It's time for me to finally read it. But again, it is one of those books I put off because I don't think people care. But now I guess this video is me saying, I'm gonna read whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> So there we have it. Yeah. That is the books that I really want to read that nobody cares about. I hope you enjoyed this video. Apologies, it was much shorter probably than usual. If you don't like that, I'm sorry, but like I can't breathe. Um, <laughs> if you've gotten to the end, comment the apple emoji because the Snow White learns witchcraft. I can't even talk anymore. Comment the apple emoji down below if you've gotten to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I love you very much and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.